Right now, Dearborn police need your help finding a person of interest in a shooting at a home where five children were inside. That person of interest is 25-year-old Jimmy Mitchell. Investigators say he is known to frequent Detroit, Hamtramck, and Dearborn Heights. Mitchell is considered armed and dangerous. 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie has a closer look at the investigation. Yellow crime scene tape still blocks off this home on Boston Street and off into the distance you can see yellow evidence markers outside the home where the shooting happened. I woke up shaking. I'm, I'm, I was terrified. This grandmother, who did not want her name or face to be on TV, says her daughter's ex-boyfriend came to the house, leading to a fight and then a shooting. Graveyard love. If somebody just don't know how to let go in a relationship, um, she didn't want to be with him. This has been going on for months, him coming back to her house unannounced, trying to break in and things of that nature. And now today somebody got hurt. Luckily, her five grandchildren are all safe. She says there were four adults in the home when the shooting happened. She says a friend of her daughter's, a man, was shot three times. This could have went any kind of way tonight. So I'm grateful for the kids. My blessings go out to the guy that got hurt. Dearborn police say this man is in critical condition and have not provided any further information into this continuing investigation. They were outside the home on Boston near Banner for hours, putting up yellow evidence markers in front of the yard and searching through the backyard. My photographer and I found bullet casings on Banner. Police politely asked us to move our live truck to process the new evidence. This neighbor lives two doors away from the home where the shooting happened. My daughter's window is right there and my, my window is right there and my son was in my room so I don't know how we didn't hear anything. She worries what could have happened next. I'm kind of furious that my kids were right there. You know, that kind of puts them at risk. In Dearborn, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. All right, Allie, thank you. Well